Unit 1. Grammar Present simple and present progressive Stative and non-stative verbs Now I know we have covered these topics in previous years But please continue watching as in Traveler 5 We will dig deeper into these topics We will learn new things that we didn't learn in the previous years Now as a quick reminder my father drives his car to work every morning. He is not driving at the moment. He is working. On the left is an example of the present simple tense. On the right is an example of the present progressive tense. Present progressive, we add ing to the verb and we use the verb be. Am is or are present simple we don't have the verb be no am no is no are we don't add ing to the verb we add s if the subject is he she or it now i learn english every day to change this into present progressive we add the verb be i am Add ing to the verb learning English not every day it's happening right now when do we use present simple and when do we use present progressive if something happens in general like a permanent state you always go to school you go to school every day my father works as a teacher it's a permanent state something happens in general then use present simple if it's a scheduled future event scheduled means it will happen at a particular time there is a plan for it to happen in the future like when you say the match between Real Madrid and Barcelona starts at 8 when is this happening? it's happening in the future it starts at 8, that's not now, that's not something that happens in general, like it happens every day or every week. It happens only one time in the future, but it is a scheduled future event. If it's a plot of a book, the story, the main events in a story, like when you say in chapter 7, Sandra meets her mother again, you're talking about things that happen in a book sports commentaries commentaries are a man or a woman who calls the action tells you what's happening in the play field like when you say Robinson passes the ball to Neil Neil passes the ball to Messi Messi kicks the ball and Messi scores it's a goal see we are using Prison simple to describe things that are happening right now. If it's sports, then use present simple. Messi kicks the ball and Messi scores a goal. With exclamatory sentences with here and there. Like when you say, here comes my mother. When you use here or there with an exclamation mark. This mark is called exclamation mark. This sentence is exclamatory. Use present simple. Here comes the pain. Brock Lesnar. Here comes my mother. Now, present progressive. We use it to describe something that is happening right now. Just like, I am recording this video right now. In the future. Like when you say, I am visiting my parents. When? Not now. Tomorrow. It's happening in the future or a temporary state. Temporary means it will happen now and continues for a short period and then in the future it will stop. Like when you say, I'm looking for a new job. I am searching for a new job these days. I will stop as soon as I find one with always constantly and continually to express annoyance annoyance means something is bothering you you're not happy with something 
like when you say you're always leaving your books on the floor. When does this happen? This is something that happens in general. This something happens always. Why don't we use present simple? Because actually we are expressing annoyance. We don't like this. It makes us angry. Use always. Constantly. You can say you are constantly leaving your books and use present progressive. Always, constantly, and continually, they all give the same meaning. Now, time expressions. We use adverbs of frequency like always, sometimes, usually, seldom, rarely, never. We use this with present simple, except. When you express annoyance, you can use always, with present progressive okay you can use on Mondays which means every Monday once a week once a month with present progressive you can use at the moment now today right now tomorrow next month tonight this week now how do you form positive negative and questions using present simple easy with I, you, we, and they, just use the base form of the verb. With he, she, and it, add s. With present progressive, use am with I, is with he, she, and it, are with you, we, and they, and you always add ing to the verb. Negative, use don't and doesn't. Doesn't with he, she, and it. In here, just add not. I am learning, I am not learning. Questions, you start with do or does. Do you eat food every day? Does he? With present progressive, you start with the verb be. And of course, if you want a WH question, you can use a question word like, What do you eat every day? Why do you eat? Why am I learning English? Why am I recording this video? Now, let's talk about stative and non-stative verbs. What are they? I am reading the newspaper. Mmm, this cake tastes good. Where is the verb here? The verb is read. This verb is an action verb. This man is actually doing the reading. He's doing something. He's reading. Okay, what's the cake doing? This cake tastes good. Is the cake doing something? No. We are describing the cake using a verb. This is a verb, but it's just the state of the cake. It tastes good. Stative verbs are usually used in simple tenses. We usually, not always, don't add ing to the verb. Okay, when do we add ing? Well, if there is something happening, if there is an action happening. Like what? What's the baby doing? The baby is tasting the cake. It is correct to say it like this. The baby is tasting. That means he is eating to see if the cake is good or not good. Do you see that? Now, let's read and understand the meaning of these verbs. Feel, see, hear, smell, taste, seem. These are verbs of the senses. Verbs of emotions, of preference, dislike, love, hate, want, need, prefer, mind, fear, wish, admire. Verbs of perception and opinion. Know, I know, mean, think, which means believe. I will give you an example in a moment, just wait. Understand, remember, forget, imagine agree, hope, believe, expect. Verbs of ownership, that means you own something. Possess, have, 
own, belong. Other verbs like the verb be, am, is, and are. Cost. Seem, appear, weigh, and consist. Now look. Here is an example of when we add ing to the stative verbs. We are having dinner now. What are they doing? You can say that they are eating. Well, the word have doesn't mean that they own the dinner. It means that they are eating it. You see? So, we are using it as an action verb. They are actually eating. They are having dinner now. Do you see that? Like when you say, I feel happy now. You don't say, I am feeling happy now. No, you say, I feel happy. Why? Because it is just a state. This is how you feel. But when you say that, I am feeling the water. That means you want to touch the water to see if it's cold or hot. I am feeling the water. I am feeling the air. It's an action, something that you're actually doing. See, like when you say, I am seeing my friend tonight. I am seeing him, which means I am meeting him. I am going out with him. Okay, it is action, something you are actually doing. We can do this with a lot of verbs. Take the verb think as an example. You say, I think Barcelona will win the match. This means that you believe Barcelona can win. I think Barcelona will win. This is what you believe. But when you say, I am thinking about buying a new phone. I am thinking. That means you are considering buying a new phone. That means you are trying to decide whether you should buy a new phone or not. Do you see that? Good. Now, practice. Two friends are having a telephone conversation. Complete the blanks with the present simple or the present progressive of the verbs in brackets. Hi, Omar. What's up? What's happening? What's going on? Hey, Ahmed. Where call me from? Okay, this conversation is happening over the phone. Somebody called the other. He's asking him, now, where are you calling from? Now, you're calling from where? Home. You usually, this is an adverb of frequency, just like always and sometimes. Present simple. You usually go swimming at this time. What you do there? What are you doing there at the moment at home? What are you doing right now? I think I have a cold. This is a state. He is sick. He's not doing anything. He thinks he has a cold. Cold is a sickness. Is when you cough and when you sneeze at the moment. Sorry to hear that. I hope you not feel too bad. Again, is this a state or an action? It's a state. You don't feel too bad. Thanks. It seems to be getting better. Seem is a state of verb. What's up with you? What are you doing? Oh, you know me. No is a state of verb. I love going out. A gang of us, a group of young people from the gym, go to that new place on Market Street. We are doing this in the near future. Use present progressive. We are going to that new place on Market Street this weekend. Do you want is a state of verb. Do you want to meet up? That sounds like a great idea. Again, sound means seem. That seems like a good idea, just like seem. Who else is coming? It's happening in the future. Who will go? Well, let me think. Of course, Josh and Larry. My brother, think of asking some friends. Think is a stative verb. Do we use it as think? 
Well, he is considering, just like when you are thinking about uh, changing your phone, that means you are trying to come up with a decision. Should you do it or should you not? If it's like that, use present progressive. My brother is thinking, he is considering asking some friends from his karate class too. Great. What should I wear? What clothes? Something casual, not formal. I get a new pair of trainers. These are trainers, shoes. On Friday, it's happening in the future. I am getting. So I'll wear them and I guess. Guess is a stative verb. I'll put on some smart jeans and a t-shirt. Thanks for the invitation. I have to go now. I have a headache. Is it like eating? I am having dinner? No, it's a headache. I have. Okay. I understand. Again, understand is a state of verb. I understand. Mate. Mate means friend. I understand that, my friend. Get some rest. We'll talk later. Right. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.